By the year 2050, it's hoped that up to 10% of the country's energy needs will be covered by around 200 geothermal energy stations. This is how it works. Cold water is injected to a depth of 5,000 meters where the rock temperature is as high as 200 degrees. The superheated water is then pumped to the surface and used to drive turbines to generate electricity. A high-tech plant was planned at Basel as the first of a series of industrial-scale electricity generating stations. This was projected to power 10,000 homes. Former Swiss energy minister Moritz Leuenberger was so proud of it that he invited diplomats from all over the world to come and have a look. This is pioneering work. Here we see the spirit of enterprise being used to create alternative energy. Switzerland has a rather complacent, conservative image among foreign diplomats. And they should see that we are working towards a different kind of future. Geothermal energy is an inexhaustible, clean and constant energy source, but there's still a lot of uncertainty about its cost and safety. The injection of fluids into hot rock can cause fracturing, which can generate low-magnitude seismic activity. Drilling in Basel in late 2006 and early 2007 caused a series of earthquakes, some greater than magnitude 3. There were 2,700 reports of damage to buildings, with repairs costing 9 million francs. At the end of 2009, the Canton and Geopower, the company behind the project, decided to close it down. In 2010, St Gallen's voters approved a 160 million francs credit for a new geothermal project. There was said to be no risk of seismic activity as the technology used was different to Basel. But in the summer of 2013, boring work triggered an earthquake measuring 3.6 on the Richter scale, greater than any felt in Basel. Measurements taken by the Swiss Seismological Service showed that after drilling stopped in July, there were 400 aftershocks. They said these could continue for months or years. We know that most of the resulting tremors are small, but the problem is how to assess the danger. Can you really say that a large earthquake is very unlikely? You can't completely rule it out. It seems that engineers don't know exactly what lies beneath the surface, as only certain parameters can be measured. The city of St Gallen has decided to carry on with its geothermal project for the time being. A final vote on whether to continue will be taken next year. It's understandable that people feel worried when there are earthquakes, but the risks are basically known, and the earthquake wasn't that big. While energy specialists seem to agree that geothermal power has potential benefits, not everyone believes it should have a priority for funding over other renewables. Geothermal energy is still at the research stage, and it won't be generating large amounts of electricity for a few years. It hasn't come that far. So it would make sense to invest in solar or wind projects instead which can deliver electricity right away. At least 10 further geothermal projects are being planned in Switzerland at the moment.